Okay, driving the Discovery yesterday and it came on with uh, some sort of, I can't remember the exact fault thing, it was something about engine fault or something. Um, so we're going to put the little IID Bluetooth tool in and see what the faults were, just have a little play. So you've got your ODB2 port under here, plug that in there, the light should go on. There you go, we've got some red, some green, we've got all sorts going, let me shut the door in here. Right, let's have a look. So we should be able to get up the, give it get the app, connect to the last tool. Yeah, probably want a bit of ignition. Why not? Get one at least. Get one there to the... All right, there we go. Connect to the last tool. Trying to connect. Tool name. Here we go. So now it scans the modules and has a look what faults we can find. Now, this car has been parked up for a while, unloved. So there we go. Confirm yeah. connection. So now load all the ECUs and check them. Right, let's have a look what faults it's got. So if we go back to the main menu, we haven't unlocked this for this. Oh we haven't unlocked it for this car yet. It's saying limited mode, and then you can go to unlock there, and then that's where you apply for the the code with um, with GAP and, and yeah, pay, pay for the license to get into the full CCF, but. We haven't synced it to this car, but we can still go in and read the faults. We can read any Land Rover with this tool, even though we've we we can read the faults, but yeah, we can't change the CCF. So let's go in and have a look. Faults will be read. So if you've got this tool for your car and you've paid for the ECU to be to be synced to your car specifically, you can still go. And your friend's got a problem and a fault code, you can go give them a hand and help them out. You can't modify the vehicle or add a heated steering wheel or extra cool stuff. You have to pay extra for the, the bit of modify, but you can certainly fault code read. Um, so we're looking for faults in there. So what, what do you reckon that's going to be called? Like, trend, not trend. Oh, we've got the, amplifier. We've got audio system, body control, engine has got eight Think faults. Engine TDV6. Right, the exhaust, gas, recirculation control circuits. That'll be what we call the EGR valve, won't it, Ian? Yep. Exhaust, gas, turbo supercharger boost control performance. Um, a performance. A minimum maximum stop performance. <laughs> Boost control position sensor. Yeah. EGR. EGR. So we want to clear all of these. If we go yeah. back to faults, we can have a flick through. It looks like it's got a whole bunch that we probably haven't cleared in forever where we've been messing with it and whatnot. Yeah. So that's I clear all. Got it. Clear all. Then we can start the engine up and we'll see what ones reappear and what ones are actually current or not. Yeah, so it's got some persistent faults, doesn't it? So sometimes these Land Rovers, you end up with a... Passive Ignat. You end up with some of these weird ones, which are just... Uh, they're just kind of ghost faults that don't actually affect any of the systems that you've got active on the car. And they're just... They're, they're a bit random. But if we start the engine... I'll just try and clear those two again. But I think we've... Yeah. So as soon as it's cleared them all, it'll read them automatically for you again. So it's got Maybe those only two. two coming up. Maybe two coming up. So let me just give the engine a bit of a, a bit of a rev. Try and get that that turbo or that EGR valve. It might have just stuck a bit yesterday. This hasn't been driven for a while. Alright, faults by ECUs. Go back to main menu. Faults. So if you clear all again, it should clear, read it all. Clear all. Oh yeah, you don't get an option to read. You've got to clear all to read them. So isn't that going to clear the ones that it's just... If they're active, it'll keep, it, they'll keep coming yeah. back. But what... So how do I actually just... Reading it. Yeah, it's not yeah. finding those engine faults again, so maybe they'll, if they come back again, we'll have to keep an eye out, but 
Yeah, we'll read them. Hopefully read them again that's cleared them, and hopefully whatever was causing the problem, possibly just the actuator was a bit sticky, and now you've driven it a bit more, it's cleared it up. Right, so there you go. That's just a basic using IID tool in the limited mode, just to read and clear fault codes.